Yo. Sumo so, sumo so manye ni ganye na son sira ni na sira blema soro sira songo kolontanga di katodo sira ni na. All right, folks, welcome to Niamey, capital of Niger. I wasn't planning on running into anybody with malaria out here in this neck of the woods, but it turns out that the gal I happened to just get led to yesterday, Layla, came into her place this morning and she's shivering, cold, and totally suffering of malaria. The scary thing is she's got three kids and she's not really taking it very serious. And what can happen is you get cerebral malaria, and if they get cerebral malaria, they're gonna die within 24 hours. And it happens all the time. Children get orphaned, and it's a sad story. Or, you know, just as, just as bad as that parents lose their children. It happens a lot. So I'm over, I just went back to my place. I'm gonna deliver these malaria medication. If I can get out of here, not kill anyone or myself. So bon. No, no ve manger, no ve manger, porque se, se vomit, se vomit, se vomit, oui, oui, oui. Ok, c'est l'instruction, c'est ici. Oui, mais c'est en anglais, donc so, maintenant je, je prends en uh, français, c'est très facile, c'est très facile. I'm on this endless road, it seems, that takes me to the highway. You can see some villages over to the left, and just a peaceful morning. Everyone's just getting up out of bed. Sun just came up, and the mystery is, who am I going to be riding with today? Who am I going to meet? Where am I going to eat? All that stuff is just a great way to start a day of adventure out here in Niger. So here's a nice little dude out there farming. Let's see if we can catch him. Bonsoir. Ah, bonsoir. That's bonjour. <laughs> it's not evening. Just got up. Anyways, talk to you guys later. See what kind of adventure we have in store for us today. Greetings, folks. It's about nine o'clock in the morning and pumping out at about 90, 95 degrees. It's gonna be a cooker today if it's that hot at nine in the morning. Uh, the other bit of news is I can't seem to find anybody walking my way. There seems to be tons of people you can see here, people on donkeys, people on horses, uh, people even on bikes going the other way but no one seems to be going my way yet. But it's only nine in the morning. The heat's picking up, so hopefully you find someone to come out and join me in the good times or possibly the misery of, of the sun here. So stay tuned. <laughs> Bonjour. Bonjour. Bye -bye. What's up there, folks? Welcome to the town of Karma. I figure I got some pretty good karma. I do some cool things for people. I'm due to find myself a guest rider here, someone who's not quite so beat up by this heat is going to be able to pedal me off real good. So you can see back behind me here, there's the Niger River. Way back up there, I think you might be able to see it, I'm not sure. But uh, you can see back here, there's no one there. So we're going to have to find somebody to hook me up and give me some company, little power here in the town of Karma. Off we go. All right, so we're riding into the town of Karma here. Got a little bit of a road crossing, a road barrier to go around there. Some cows, as you may have seen. Whoa. Okay, let's see if we can find some people. I'm not real sure how many folks are going to be out here in Karma. It's looking like a pretty cool little place. It's actually down there by the river, but hopefully by the road we can find some interesting folks to chat with and recruit to come on this adventure with us to the next town. Bonjour, bonjour. Ça va bien? We got some folks here. Je m'appelle Jamie. Jamie. Et Me, uh, Isa. Isa. Yes. Isa. Isa. Ah, c'est yes. ça, c'est yes. ça, Isa. Yes. Et tu? C'est Moussa. Moussa. Oui. Moussa, Isa. Yes. Et j'ai cherché à uh, Jante pour venir avec moi. C'est ça. Pédaler avec moi. Et les. 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 Ici, j'ai aussi, je le ça, ce sont pour, euh, oui, pour, comment dit-on? Oui. Comment dit-on en français? Oui, en français. Comment? Ça, c'est chemise. Chemise, chemise, chemise. Ça, c'est chemise. Oui. chemise. Oui. 
We got Snoop Doggy Dog on. Oh. Snoop Doggy Dog. Yes. 2M, 2M, Snoop Doggy Dog. C'est bon. bon, huh? Bon. So we're just getting to know each other now. Yeah. Bring you more as we move. Woo! Well, folks, it's a scorcher out there. We're in the shade right now, as you can see, and it's over 100 degrees. So, uh, c'est chaud, huh? C'est chaud. Yeah, he's used to it, so he seems to be handling it okay. I'm ready to start taking some hydration salts because I've drank like four liters of water and I haven't even gone to the bathroom, which is a, kind of a bad sign. I just had a whole bunch of hydration salts in the shade there. Yes. A bunch of cookies. Yes. I'm feeling a lot better, yeah. gotta say. So my boy Musa and I have had wow, a chance to can. kind of talk a little bit. Yes. Uh, yeah, and. Uh, <laughs> He doesn't speak a word of English, of course, so I've been using the dictionary and doing my best. C'est toi comment tu appelles là? C'est toi ton nom? Jamie. 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 Jamie Moussa. Jamie Moussa. C'est bon. So Nova me, Nova me. And uh, so what I got so far is 18 years old. Yes. This sweet. This sweet. Yeah. 18 ans. 18 ans. Yeah. And uh, he runs the business that sells the water that we dread, that we filled up with. He, that's his business. All right, folks. I'm kicking back with the chief of the village. Je m'appelle Jamie. Tu appelles? Je m'appelle Salouf. 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 He's the chief of the village here. We just stopped for our food break here, and uh, we've given him some some medication. For malaria, we're right on the Niger River. It's a big problem, malaria out in this area. And uh, so we're hooking him up with some. Uh, he said that it is a big problem here. So hopefully save a few lives here while we have a good time hanging out with the people. Um, this little woman, the girl right here, she did, they just pulled her up. She's just one of many people suffering with malaria right here. You can see in her face, eh? they're super duper sick. And when they're that age, they can die. Eh? And so, so, anyways, it's a big problem out here. So, if you guys are traveling, see if you can lend a hand when you head out there. That's all I got to say. Peace. All right, folks, it's lunchtime deep in the heart of Niger. I mean, it doesn't get more deep, I don't think, than I'm in right now. And what we just got, you saw cooking, are these fresh fish from the, uh, from the river right behind us, which is the Niger River. And uh, we're gonna be mowing down these babies as we brush off the flies and enjoy real village life here. Boga Manakan. I said that their village is great. Awesome. And just when you think you're too far away from civilization, wine. That's right. And it's actually not bad. I don't know where he found it, <coughs> where Musa found it, but from a plastic bottle. <laughs> Bon appetit, huh? Bon appetit. So the time has come to say goodbye to Moose, as you can tell, he's all changed up. And this is behind us right there is where he's gonna catch his bus uh, to go back to his village. And I've got a good 30, 40 kilometers still to go. It's pretty warm out, but not too bad. Moussa, c'est un grand plaisir. C'est bon? C'est bon. So he's gonna head back and the adventure is who's next. Peace. <laughs> That's it folks, Losa. I finished my ride for the day, the sun is setting, and there's no way I'm gonna make it to the next town, and even the next town doesn't have any place to stay. So my only choice is to knock on the door and find out 
if someone's going to let me pitch my tent or maybe even stay in their place. So the adventure begins right now of hospitality here in Niger. What is your name? My name is Alasa. Alasa. Yes, I'm Jamie. 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 Yeah. I just met a, a Alasa here outside of Losa. And uh, Losa, it says, I was trying to make a video okay. to show I need to find a place to sleep. Yeah. For sleeping, yeah, yeah, because I'm riding and I have no other place to sleep. There's place to sleep, huh? I tell you, it's that easy, huh? Meeting the great local people in Niger, all in Africa. They love to have visitors, so you're not imposing on them. It's an honor, huh? The people, they like to have visitors yes. in Africa, yeah. Very much. Very much, huh? Alright folks, uh, you may be able to hear this mysterious chanting behind me. It's uh, I'm not really sure what it is, it's quite interesting. It's uh, pretty hot in my tent right now, uh, but my hosts here uh, have decided to come out and camp with me, so they're actually setting up their whole mattress outside here of the tent. So we have uh, chanting going on, and, and uh, my neighbors and my hosts have all decided to camp outside the house, uh, their house tonight with me. Very special. So hopefully I'll be able to stay cool. They brought me uh, some water and uh, a cube of, big cube of ice in it, so should be good to go. Off to sleep. Good night. So now we're going to ride, yeah? Nice. So we just met yesterday on the road, sleep at his house, we eat together, yeah. and now we go for a ride to Tillaberry. To Tillaberry. Very nice, very nice. Yes. So come aboard, folks. The adventure is about to begin. The sun has come out through the clouds. It's a bright yeah. one. Probably going to be hot, you think? Very hot. Very hot. <laughs> <laughs> Even hot for him. Oh! to go, huh? Okay. Yeah. We're off our way. Bye-bye. Yeah. Bye -bye. Say goodbye to everyone. Yeah. We're on our Good way luck. to Tilleberry. Yeah. Good Tilleberry. Luck. Merci. Good luck. Thank Good you. Luck to you. <laughs> God bless you. Thank okay. you. All right. God bless you. you. <laughs> in the midday heat here in Niger. Big no-no, I don't recommend doing it, but if you take it nice and slow and you have a nice, some nice company, so. it's okay. For you, no problem, right? Okay. <laughs> you from Niger, me from America, <laughs> and here we are on a bicycle, huh? Yes. <laughs> that was very nice. Thank you for letting me stay at your house last night, yeah, huh? That's how the life be. That's how life be, huh? Yes. Yeah. Woo, it's cooking again, folks. Uh, luckily, we've got a little bit of shade. The uh, trees here aren't very bushy, so you don't get a lot of shade. But we got Bob Dylan. You like Bob Dylan, huh? I like it very well. <laughs> very well. I asked him what kind of music he likes. He said, Bob Dylan. I said, what else do you like again? And uh, Celine Dion. Celine Dion. Yes, Arcadine. <laughs> Al, Al Kelly. I don't know who Al Kelly is. But... Who's Al Kelly? No. Ah. I don't know. It's Al Kelly is a real singer. Okay. Yeah. So we got Bob Dylan, we got shade, and we got 100 degrees in the shade. <laughs> I'm a lot of that now.
bush taxi. If you ever go out traveling, this is the way that you're gonna travel out here with the people here. I got my boy running sound. A great way to meet the people and see what's going on. The bike is up there. Whatever you've got with you, you can take. As you can see, uh, normally there's about 20, 25 people in these things. I paid a little bit extra so we can get on the road before dark so I can get to the village of Famile. Uh, where I'm going, I have no idea where I'm going, where I'm staying tonight, but I know it's a village within riding distance tomorrow to get to the final town where I want to go for the uh, festival of uh, animals and crazy herdsmen and stuff. I've actually never come into a village uh, this late before um, and look for a place to stay, especially not just coming in on a bus like this. But it is what it is, and we're gonna we're gonna find some adventures here and meet some people and. Uh, Likely bring you some of these people tomorrow. So we're mixing up hot milk right now, fresh from the cows. My new friends here, I just rolled into their village a couple hours ago and they're feeding me and taking great care of me here. Ah. Can, 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 say, muy bien, or very tasty and um, delight. It was late last night that I came in, and these these lovely people just didn't even think twice. They said, "Go put your tent here. Let me get you some food, bring you some milk, yeah. some, some juice, the the lay, the lay show." So uh, just the hospitality here and the people, the people here in Niger, yeah. and this, the, 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 this village is here. Bonfeba. Bonfeba. Yeah. Uh, it's a nice, it's a Touareg village, yeah? Touareg village. It's a Touareg village. Touareg we're, village, yes. We're going to go out and take a look at it as I head out onto the road. Bonjour. Ça va? Ça va bien? Ça va bien? Moment, moment, moment. Okay, so Sambo Jalo is in San Kent. San Kent. San Kent. San Kent. San Kent. I don't know, don't know what's going on, but uh, I'll have a photo of that. Can't wait. 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 So that's, that's the magic of peace bed in there, folks. Come along. Samba was my guest rider today on the way here to Arroyo and uh, <laughs> all right, folks, so this is all the uh, gear getting ready to go to Mali. The, uh, the road basically stops, uh, becomes sandy, crazy, dirty, nutty. So basically the only way to 
get up to Mali to where the road starts again, up to Gao, is this Land Rover right here from the 1960s. It's a winner, I tell you. Okay, folks, well, let's see if we can see me here in the shade here. But our vehicle over there is broken down. We've had two flat tires, and we also have just had a gearbox completely go out. So the driver has disappeared completely. Nobody knows where he is. I'm thinking about sharing toy music with toy people in the shade. And none of us know what we're doing right now. But I've been in Africa long enough over a year now to know that we just do that to go as well. So that's the plan. I don't know what we're going to do. We're going to have on the street in here or what, because there's no vehicle or something in here. So, see you later.